Hey guys, I'm Mark and today I'm going to show you how to move rotation origin point. How to rotate the object not from the center but from the point you have selected. I post two tutorials like this per week, so please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Alright, let's get started. Here we are inside Affinity Designer for desktop. I got dark background for this project. And now I'm going to draw a shape. So I'm using circle here, oval tool. I will hold shift to have a perfect circle and simply draw a big circle over here. I'm going to duplicate this shape. So we can right click on the layer and then select duplicate. I will offset this a little bit, select both shapes. And now we can intersect them and by doing that, we will end up with this new shape. So normally every shape will rotate from the center by default like this. If I use my move tool and move my shape around, I can also rotate the shape using this toggle at the top. And as you can see, it's rotating from the center, but we can change that you just need to move the origin of transformation. So click here. Thanks to that, you will see this little additional point on your shape. This is the origin for the rotation, the rotation center. If I move it down here, I will be rotating around this point at the bottom. So let's try to do some little project using this method. So I'm going to use this shape. Now I will power duplicate this one. So I'm holding command or control on the keyboard, pull it back in the same position. And now give it a little bit of rotation while holding shift. And that's all. Now we can simply power duplicate this operation. So you can go here to the menu and select duplicate. Or you can use fastest method just Command or Control J on your keyboard. And it's rotating along this point that we set up at the bottom of the shape, not from the center. All right, that's nice and quick effect. Let's select all shapes. I'm going to reduce opacity so we can see through them. Let's make them semi-transparent. Okay. We can also fill them with gradient. Now when I select all of them together, I can put gradient on all of them. Not the linear one. Let's change that. Radial from the center. And let's set up a colors, brighter colors. Something like this at the edge. And then we can also modify the center point. And by moving the origin of transformation, the origin of rotation, you can very quickly create a flower like symbol like this. Very cool stuff. It's very often used to rotate object around circles like I just show you by using power duplicate common J. All right, I already group all of my shapes. So now I can apply some text, sorry, layer effects to this. So layer style here at the bottom. We can put in a glow from the edge or from the center is up to you because we apply, we reduce opacity. This effect act a little bit different. So we got interesting effect now because what we did before, we reduce opacity for all shapes in the group. All right, that's nice result. Let's change blending mode to overlay. And to make a little bit more contrast, we can also apply drop shadow. It will work in the similar way, but this time we're going to use black color. And this is outside the shape. So inner glow was inside the shape. This is drop shadow outside the shape. So we got a little bit more contrast. All right, that's cool. We can change radius. And here's our new shape. 
All right, guys, I hope that was useful for you. Keep in mind, you can always move the origin of transformation for any shape in Affinity Designer. If you cannot see this option, try to expand the shape, try to convert your shape to curves. All right, thank you for learning with me today and I will see you in my next tutorial.